Have you ever heard of dinks? It's dual income, no kids. We're dinks. We get into snobby hobbies like skiing and golfing. We're dinks. We can go to Florida on a whim. Hey, financial warriors. Welcome to the show. And in this video, I am going to be reacting to this new trend, okay? It's called We're Dinks. And if you don't know, dinks stands for dual income, no kids, or Dink, D-I-N-K, dual income, no kids. And this trend has blown up on TikTok with people making videos about it. I wanna kind of go through it in this video and just analyze the pros and cons and whether I think it's right or not. All right, let's get started. We're dinks, we go to Trader Joe's and workout classes on the weekends. We're dinks, we get into snobby hobbies like skiing and golfing. Yeah, I mean, I, I think you could do all that stuff with kids. Maybe these people, like, they don't have kids so they don't realize that actually you you know, except for maybe the first one year, year and a half when your kids are very small, um, you can still do all that stuff. I mean, look, I have two kids and every Monday, this is me. You, you wanna see a bit more? I, I just wanna give you loads of clips of me looking like a hero. But anyway, that's my point. I mean, you can still do why, why do they say it's a snobby hobby? It's a great hobby, what are you talking about? Anyway, let's keep watching. We're dinks, we can go to Florida on a whim. We're dinks, we're already planning our European vacation next year. I mean, I go to Vegas on a whim. I've never been to Florida, I'd like to go to Florida. I take my kids to Vegas and we have just as great a, a vacation <laughs> as any. Um, and I've already been to Europe once this year as well, okay? That was a business trip actually, it was fully paid for too. Um, but yeah, I, you know, they're not really selling me on this lifestyle yet. Dinks, we get a full eight hours of sleep, and sometimes more. <laughs> <laughs> We're dinks, we get desserts and appetizers at restaurants. Appetizers and desserts at restaurants. I guess he's right on that, because you know, I have two kids, so we're a family of four. If we go out and eat, you're looking at a minimum $100, okay? Minimum $100 for an evening meal, maybe 120, even up to one, even closer to $200. And we don't even drink, by the way, we don't drink alcohol. So if you're drinking some wine or something, it's gonna be even more. But yeah, we're looking at least 100, 120, up to all the way up to like 180 uh, for an evening meal, okay, with four kids. So he's right on that one. And we often skip the appetizer. We just do like main course and dessert or whatever. So he is right. Um, I guess the remedy for it in my mind is just earn more money, <laughs> you know? We spend our discretionary income on $8 lattes. I drink $8 lattes. <laughs> Roll the clip. I got a clip of myself with an $8. I think it was a cappuccino, actually. So this is actually an $8 coffee, and it's got this thing, which uh, is sugar. I've never seen this before. But let's try it. See you do. So yeah, I mean, I don't see what is so special uh, about that one. We're dinks. We max out our 401ks, Roth IRAs, and HSAs. That's definitely an advantage of having two incomes. And if both people are working in a job that you couldn't really do if you had kids, like something that's like super professional, stressful, you know, takes like a whole eight hours every single day, you would be getting quite a good income. You know, if each person is earning, say, 150,000 a year, that's 300,000 a year. 300,000 a year is pretty comfortable to live on, um, unless you live in some of the biggest, most expensive cities. But if you're in a suburb or, you know, a smaller town, 300 a year is like, yeah, man, that's, that's nice. So yeah, you'd have a lot of money to max out your 401ks. This kind of links into the whole FIRE lifestyle, you know, financial independence, retire early, because that's easier to do as a dink, right? You got dual incomes, you put a lot of money into investments and stuff, and then you end up retiring early. Personally, I don't have a 401k. I have a traditional IRA, and I was gonna open up a Roth IRA as well, but I, I discovered that I'm not even allowed to get the tax deduction from either of those anymore, because like I've earned too much money from YouTube and stuff, so it's like, Oh, <laughs> it's kind of a first world problem. I've earned too much money to take advantage of this tax deduction. So now I'm doing real estate for my retirement instead of retirement accounts. To be honest, you don't have to have an IRA or a 401k or whatever. Like that's not the only way to retire, okay? So there's other ways. And personally, my mind is just like, I'm gonna just keep accumulating as much real estate as possible. All right, let's move on. Why is nobody talking about being dinks? Well, I'm freshly married and I'm gonna talk about- <laughs> What do you mean nobody's talking about being dinks? Like everyone seems to be talking about being dinks now. But here's a life as dinks in our early 30s. No shocker here, folks. Today we went to Costco. We don't have kids to feed, but we got lots of money to spend on goodies. Brian always checks out while I get a box, and then I sit here and look cute. Here's the haul, and our total was $252. The registered game at Costco never gets old. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of emphasis on buying snacks, as if, like, you can't have snacks if you, uh, if you have kids, like, <laughs> or your kids eat all the snacks. I don't know. I mean, I have snacks in my house, but also I am, you know, I'm 38. I don't, like, eat snacks all the time, you know? Like, I eat 
three square meals a day, I don't really see that much need for lots of snacks. <laughs> you know what I mean? I feel like that's something I did when I was like 15, 16, like lots of chocolate bars and stuff. But <laughs> all right, let's move on. You cannot tell me that grocery shopping and a fresh slice of Costco pizza isn't a good date night. No, it's not a good date night. That's what I used to do with my wife when I was like 25 and, you know, it was just starting out in life and didn't have any money. We'd, we'd go to Costco and after buying stuff, we'd go and get a, like a $3 slice of pizza each and sit there as if it was a romantic date or something. But no, in my mid thirties or my late thirties, I'm really not looking back thinking, wow, that was just such a romantic <laughs> experience. All right, it's all about the Costco snacks. You're gonna find out as we watch more of these. Let's move on to the next one. We're dinks. We're gonna get asked daily when we plan on having kids. We're dinks. Of course we're gonna go out to eat every night after work. <laughs> That's funny. Of course we're gonna go out to eat every night after work. I mean, that just sounds like a pain <laughs> to me, to be honest. I remember, who was it I interviewed? I interviewed Dave Hansen on this show. I believe he doesn't have, he doesn't have kids, right? And him and his girlfriend, he said, they, they, that's his biggest expense. They eat out every single night. Like every, he doesn't cook. <laughs> like every meal he has is in a restaurant and he likes that. And hey, that's fair play, whatever. But I was kind of like, oh, dude, that just sounds like such a hassle. <laughs> you know what I mean? We're dinks. We're gonna go to Costco and buy all the snacks in bulk that we want. Why is everyone obsessed with Costco snacks? It seems like for the perfect dinks video now, you have to talk about Costco snacks. It's like one of the things you gotta mention. We're dinks. We have disposable income to spend on whatever we would like and don't have to spend on a kid. That's true. You know, that's definitely something that you, you know, could advocate for this lifestyle. Like you have the income, you can spend it on what you want. But personally, I would see it more as a phase. You know, you go through your dink phase where you earn a lot of money, you can save up a load of money. Um, and, and don't you think that spending money on kids is actually like spending money on you? Because you get, well, personally, I get joy out of giving my kids stuff, you know? I think something changes in your brain chemistry after you have kids, you know? And these people can't understand it because they don't have kids. But after you have kids, it's sort of like, oh, I'm kind of living for the next generation now. Like, giving my kids amazing experiences is, is almost as, it's as good as investing in myself, you know? Because I see it as investing in my family. It's like my dynasty, you know what I mean? And so I send my kids to dance classes. They're getting really good. They can do the splits. They can do like flips and amazing stuff now. And it's like, wow, look what we created. Like that's more satisfying than, you know, creating something for yourself or going on vacation for yourself. Um, going on vacation and giving your kids an amazing experience. That's amazing to see. Anyway, let's keep going. We're dinks. I'm going to go to every football game and play 18 holes whenever I want. You can still do that, dude. <laughs> I mean, maybe not exactly whenever you want, but personally, like I ski every Monday during the winter. My wife and my kids know that that is my day, right? That's my day when I do what I want. All right. Give yourself one day a week. You know, that's fair. And also, um, I've taught my kids to ski, right? Like my daughter can keep up with me now. It was a little hard at first, but I can keep up. She can get, and also you could, you could throw your kids into ski school, right? If you're a dink and you got so much money cause you got a dual income. If you've got so much money, dude, as a dink, okay, you won't be a dink anymore, but just earn more money. All right, that's my conclusion. Earn more money. You can do all the things you want. I actually think it would, it would be. Oh, it's this lady again. <laughs> all right, let's, let's see what she has to say. The thrill of a lifetime to be standing there with my husband towards the end looking back and saying, I love this community we created. What? <laughs> I love this community we created. A community that leads to the self-destruction of the human race. I, I, that is very, uh, it's so ridiculous. Like, serious, I, I'm not into this lady. I think that she, I like some of the others, you know, some of the other guys who are dinks, like the first guy, He's selling a course, right? The guy and his girlfriend, he actually has a financial YouTube channel. He's teaching people how to be dinks. And you notice the title of his, his video was The Dink Era, okay? He's looking at it as an era, whereas this woman is looking at it as a permanent lifestyle for your entire life, which is, it's a little bit ridiculous to me because you think about it, if you've created a community of dinks that are just gonna live their whole life as a dink and not gonna have kids, in order to expand your community or keep it going, you have to pull people from the rest of the human race, right? And if you, if everyone in the human race became part of your community that you created, the human race would cease to exist in one generation. It's a pretty stupid community. Any community that leads to the destruction of the human race, I mean, that's not something that can last, right? It's not something that can be adopted by the majority of people. Now, I would say there are some jobs that you, that you could do that, you know, not everyone has kids, right? I'm not one of those people who thinks everyone's gotta have kids. You know, 
there are some jobs that people do that don't really lend themselves to having kids. Like if you wanted to be you know, a pro athlete or like a very high level in some skill, that's something where someone could justify like, I, I did this skill, I learned this thing or did this job that benefits humanity and I sacrificed having kids, all right? That's like, that's like sacrifice, right? Sacrificing something yourself, having kids in order to do something amazing, right? That brings joy and value to humanity. This woman and a lot of these other people, they are not doing that, all right? They're talking about snacks at Costco, all right? Which is, is ridiculous. Like I sacrificed my kids for snacks at Costco. You know how ridiculous that sounds? Like if you genuinely sacrificed having kids in order to do something good, I'm totally with you because I think, you know, not everyone needs to have kids. There are some, like I said, there are some places, some jobs where you do need to put in so much effort that you have to give something up. But in these cases, it's really not, um, it's not that, all right? It, it is, like some people have complained, oh, this is such a selfish pursuit. And from what I've seen of some of these people, it actually is. Let, let's keep watching and see what she says. I have no ill will towards anyone who has kids. I have no ill will towards children. <laughs> That's a Cruella de Vil vibes right there, man. Like, I have no ill will. Let's play that again. I have no ill will towards children. <laughs> she, there's something hiding behind that, man. She does not look genuine in that shot. I'm sorry. I'm not into this lady. Uh, some of the other dinks who admit that it's an era, um, I like. Let, let's, let's end with another one of those on a little bit of a light note. Have you ever heard of dinks? It's dual income, no kids, and we're in the thick of our dink era. You see that? They say we're in the thick of our dink era. Because I think that it actually could be a very positive thing. If you put off having kids by a few years and you guys both just concentrate on really working hard and earning a lot of money with your dual incomes, uh, and you know, maybe you are trying to max out a 401ks, IRAs and stuff like that for a few years and you got that set, you got like a nest egg and fall back on, maybe you've bought a property and then you have kids. This, this is more positive. And this is how we spend our evening after work. 5 p.m. freedom hits. I'm exhausted, I need a liquid IV and sit on the couch after work. Meanwhile, Sean goes out and does all the hard work. Did you hear that? Oh, <laughs> this is a Canadian, okay? I never get used to the accent, man. Go out. It's the groceries that we were missing. What a guy. <laughs> what a guy. What a guy Sean is. He went out. He went to a grocery store. What a guy. And he could do that because he didn't have kids. It is hot today. So we are going to take a dip in our pool. A pool we share with hundreds of others. But a pool we share with hundreds of others. Probably a few screaming kids in there too. We are very thankful for this pool on hot days. Why talk about your day on the couch when you can talk about it in the pool? We're back. We're clean. And we're hungry. Wow. We're back. We're clean. And we're hungry. Let's see what they're making. First, got to sneak in some time for laundry. And tonight, one of our favorites, we're making protein pizza. Trust me, it is so- Protein pizza. Kids wouldn't like that. You can only eat that because uh, you don't have kids. I mean, in my experience, kids love pizza. But anyway, I like these guys. Um, you know, they're funny. They, they And they acknowledge it's an era, you know? And, you know, maybe they haven't decided they want to have kids or not. But the people who are, you know, totally shut off to the idea of having kids because of the sole reason that they uh, want to be dinks and they want to spend the whole of their life just single, kind of selfishly indulging in, in their own stuff. That's the little bit that I find a little bit, you know, if, if you're not having kids because you want to do something great that has wider reaches for humanity and, you know, something really positive, then that, I'm with you. That's cool. But if you want to do it because you want to have Costco snacks and you want to Netflix and chill. To me, that just seems a little ridiculous. So I'd say it's a phenomenon of the, the society we have today. Um, but personally, I think it should be an era that you enjoy rather than something that you uh, experience for your whole life. Because uh, having kids does bring joy to your life and uh, they'll look after you when you're old. And it just, seeing them grow up and doing nice things for them is actually far more enjoyable than doing nice things for yourself. You could offer me all the Costco snacks in the world. I wouldn't take it. I wouldn't be a dink. I wouldn't go back. Anyway, let me know what you think, guys, in the comments. Please subscribe to this channel if you're new for more like comedy, you know, commentary on different crazy financial videos from YouTube. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.